<laughs> good morning, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Give you a few minutes to get in. Let's see if we can invite some people out. I have not been feeling like starting with my music. I have just been super, super chill. So anyway, I am Sensei Sabir. Welcome, welcome to all of you who are on here this morning. To my replay viewers, I want to say good morning and thank you for being here. You guys do me a favor. Go ahead. Hey, Shanti and Reese. good morning. Thank you guys for sharing this out already. I see that's already happening. Good morning, David. Uh, I think last night went really well. I think last night went really well. We had uh, picture night at our dojo last night for the kids. And so that was really interesting, to say the least. Anyway, guys, Sensei Sabira coming to you, as I always do, Monday through Friday, giving some uh, keywords here for my home-based business entrepreneurs, teaching you how to tell your story in a way that actually attracts your perfect customer to you naturally. Wouldn't it be nice not to have to like run down people and hunt after people to uh, get them to engage with you and your business. It's so awesome. We're working way too hard, guys. And so really my objective is to support people, support entrepreneurs, spiritual entrepreneurs, and not having to do that anymore. Guys, let me know where you're coming in from because you know what I'm going to do here in a few minutes is make sure that you guys share your links. Good morning, Tanya. You get to see the videos I put in. Good morning, Amos. Amos, man. Your header looks awesome. <clears throat> your family is beautiful. Your header, I mean, that just took your page to a whole other place. Guys, you wanna go check check out Amos Mushala. Go look at his his um, banner. Uh, was, we gave, gave him a, uh, he was one of the uh, winners of a free 15 minute uh, consultation on his, uh, on his page. So that I was able to take a look at it and see what could make him more attractive. And what I noticed right away, Amos, is that you were not having any engagement on your page. And just by you um, playing with that one recommendation, I noticed your engagement go up. I went and studied your page before and after. So congratulations to you. That's just one tweet. That's just one tweet. So we're gonna do much, much more on your page and uh, just some basic, basic things to help you get um, more attractive in the marketplace, okay? So guys, that's what I do. And today I wanna bring you a message about failing forward, being, if you are willing, hey, Inez, India, India, hello, hello. Sippo, if you're willing to fail forward, that is the perfect antidote to the fear of success. Let me say this again. Failing forward is the perfect antidote to the fear of success. So guys, please share this out. Somebody in your tribe is going to need to hear this. What I love about Facebook, it's so amazing how our attention span is so short. Our attention span is so short. And you hear all the time, oh my God, you got to catch people within three seconds of going live and you got to entertain them and all this stuff. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm not here for that. I am not here for that. <laughs> hey, Christine, how are you this morning? Guys, grab your morning libation. And I'm here to actually give you some solid education. So if I don't catch you within three seconds, if I'm not this perfect, you know, doing this dog and pony show for you, you're at the wrong place. Please go ahead and find another page, find another somebody to follow. I'm not it. What I'm here for is people who actually really want to learn how to naturally attract your clients to you. I'm not here to, to entertain you and sing and dance and all of that, right? And sometimes I get on and I'll have my music, but what I'm really here about is supporting you in going forward, supporting you in having the success that you say you want. And I believe in your heart of hearts, you really do want. I'm here to support you in living on purpose. Those of us who our purpose for being on the planet happens to be clothed in what is called entrepreneurism, right? And that's not everybody. And a whole bunch of people who say they're entrepreneurs 
really are just, they just want to spectate and they just want to, you know, play with the idea of actually serving people. I'm here for the real, real, on the real, real. Hey, Tony, Tony, what happened? What ha I'm just, I'm just saying, Tony, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Jay. Yeah, that's right, David. We got work to do. No song, no dance. Okay. I'm a warrior, you guys, straight up. I'm a martial artist and that's how I approach everything. So I'm going to tell you guys what happened to me last night. I failed miserably. Hear me. I failed miserably. And that is part of the success formula. Failing forward is the perfect antidote to the fear of success. Guys, share this out before I start dropping tea on myself. I'm going to drop the tea on myself and tell y'all how I failed miserably last night. It woke me up at like two this morning, the, the reverberation of how badly I did last night. Go ahead. Y'all say I'm getting ready for winter. My baby blue cup. That's my favorite color. Mm -hmm. So check it out. I had this influencer of a community that I really, really love being a part of ask me to come in and do a webinar. And it was perfect because I've decided that this year I am going to master webinars. So over the next 12 months, I will be mastering webinars. I have gotten very good and very comfortable being on Facebook Live, doing live streams. And so I said, okay, you know what? It's time for me to take it up another notch and go to the next level. And it's funny because you would think that doing a webinar would be easier than doing a live stream. But in my mind, all I have to do is click the button, go live, and, and just be me. A webinar, there's a little bit more structure and there's technology you got to you know, handle. With this, you just click live and boom, you're live and you're just streaming. And that's, that's it. So why webinars? Because actually guys, I'm, I'm not an author, I'm a speaker. And that's why live streaming comes so easy for me, right? I'm a speaker. So I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this to the next level to get myself prepared to be on a, a, an international stage. I'm gonna start doing webinars. Very different than live streaming. Well, I get on this, this webinar last night and I got, two monitors going, my cell phone, I'm, I'm in it, everything is good. And guys, one of the monitors that I'm working with goes completely down, completely down. Now, if I was doing a live stream, easy, simple, because it's, I mean, I own all the material in my mind, but I had this wonderful presentation, this great PowerPoint that was created for me. It was awesome. Boom. Didn't work. I was fumbling and stumbling and mumbling. Guys, here's your lesson. Here's what I want you to take away. A couple of things. Be willing to fail. Be, set your mind in advance that when I'm getting ready to scale this next mountain of whatever it happens to be in your business, I'm about to scale. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of people on here. Good morning, Nina and Zuri. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, Wally. Y'all, send some prayers to my sister, Wally Da. She is not feeling well. She's in the hospital again. Wally, much love to you, okay, sis? Um, anyway, when you are about to scale your next mountain as an entrepreneur, here's what I'm going to suggest to you guys at the base of that mountain, right? So I'm at this base of the mountain right now. I've been doing live streams. It's been going good. So whatever it is you've been a practitioner of in your business to this point, and you know pretty much I feel comfortable now. I've moved from like fumbling and bumbling over here to it's smooth and steady. That means it's time for you to challenge yourself and take on a new mountain, okay? And when you do that, I want you to set in your mind that it is okay for you to fail. You get up and you keep going. You keep going because pretty soon what's going to happen is this, oh, oh, I don't know where I'm going, oh, turns into 
this, okay? But if you're not willing to take the ride that is failing forward, you're not gonna make it to the top of the mountain. You're not gonna scale your next mountain. And that's what stops so many of us from actually doing it because we don't wanna look silly. We don't wanna look like we're not masterful. We don't wanna look like we don't know what we're doing. Well, guys, you don't. Just tell yourself the truth and accept it. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Even when I have a mentor, and you guys, you know, I have a mentor. I have a mentor. I have all the tools. I have all the technology that I need. And guess what? To execute the actual climb is going to mean I'm going to fail and stub my toe and skin my knees and fall on my face a few times. And guess what? For me to go to my next level, I'm willing. So my question is, are you willing? Are you willing to look foolish? Are you willing to fumble and bumble and stumble as long as you're going forward? Are you willing to do that? I want to hear who on here is willing to do that. If you're willing to fail forward to conquer success, then I want you to give me a roar. I need to know who is on here who's really about it and who's playing. Seriously. I want to know who's about it and who's playing. Guys, there is so much work to be done in this world, all over the world. And you can't be no punk. You really can't. Somebody, I'm afraid to, to, to fail because I have to look perfect and good. Mm -mm. We need people out here doing the work. Because let me tell you what, healing is messy. And at the end of the day, y'all know my approach to entrepreneurism is I'm actually a healer. Business is about healing. Why? Because people have problems. They have challenges. They have pain. And as an entrepreneur, our job is to find solutions, give them the antidote to the pain, help them solve their problem. That to me sounds like healing. You can call it entrepreneurism if you want to. It's just another form of healing, okay? Excellent, excellent. Healing is messy. Adia said, you ain't ever lied, right? Oh, cool. Thank you, guys. So be willing to heal yourself of this need to be perfect, of this need to be right all the time, of this need to be... You guys, I was live in this community Everybody's watching me fumble and bumble and stumble last night, but I got through that webinar and guess what I'm going to do? I immediately called the woman who runs the, the uh, organization. I immediately sent her a text and said, okay, when is our next one? Because <laughs> that's how I roll. That is how I roll. Y'all remember I skydive 10,000 feet. My right um, fake boob came out while I was descending to the, the earth. What did I do a year later? I got back in a plane, went back up to 10,000 feet with my fake boob in my hand and did another skydive. Why? Because I'm going to fail forward. I am not going to allow failure to be imprinted into my nervous system. It will stop me from going forward. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? I need you to talk back to me. If you stop at the point of one of the times that you've hit the ground, that things haven't worked out the way you wanted it to in your business, that it didn't go smoothly on your webinar, that your live stream didn't kind of turn out the way you wanted, that the, the client didn't say yes right away to working with you. If you allow that to stop you, that's going to be imprinted in your nervous system. And that'll be a place where you're stuck. You'll have a wall there because you've got fear, you've got anxiety, and you allowed that stuff to go into your DNA. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. Uh, Victoria said, Lord, show me the business. I know that's right. Oh, mm-hmm. Ooh, Christine, that's a good one. 
Christine says, most people aren't even looking for perfection. They want authenticity. I couldn't have been more authentic last night than a webinar that just totally was went just to hell in a handbasket. And I went right along with it and said, all right. So guys, that's what I want to leave with you. Allow yourself, put it in your mind that that is one of the possibilities on the polarity that you're working on between success and not success. Okay, I don't know what you want to call it. There is a spectrum. There is a journey that you have to go on. And if, you're, if you don't allow imperfection to be a part of your journey, a part of your experience, if you don't allow failure as part of the sequence of success, it is a part of it, guys. So you don't even really have to think of it as failure, but that's the name we give it around here. So whatever, whatever. If you think I'm going to get it, you know, I'm going to start this new thing and right away I got to be perfect or else I'm not going to do it anymore. Let me tell you what I call that. Let me lean in so I make sure you guys hear me. I call that arrogant. Arrogant. It's arrogant. And why is it arrogant? It's arrogant because you are allowing yourself not to deliver the goods because of how you're going to look. When there is somebody in the marketplace who needs the information the tools the resources the connections that you have the products the services that you have so that they experience a healing in a way that only you can do it but because you are stuck on i i just refuse to fail and god knows i'm not going to do it publicly Actually, fumbling and bumbling and stumbling can be one of the most attractive things that you can do. Can be one of the most attractive things you can do. Look at uh, like Columbo. Remember Columbo, that show back in the 70s? He was, he looked like he had no clue. Like he couldn't remember his name. And oh, oh wait, by the way, that Columbo, it worked. Put people's guard down and allowed him to find a solution to whatever the crime was or whatever. Same thing here, guys, okay? So please figure out what it is, you, your next mountain you're gonna climb and give yourself time. Do not expect it to happen overnight. Allow stumbling and bumbling and fumbling to be a part of the journey. Matter of fact, yes, Christine, it is feedback. It is feedback. Allow that feedback to actually inform you and then immediately get back up and do it again as quickly as you can. As quick, you guys are gonna see me doing webinars. Y'all gonna see me going live and streaming webinars through my page. Why? Yes, because I wanna serve and bring the information to you guys that I'm gonna be bringing you, but because I have made a determination that that's my next mountain to climb. So what is yours? What is yours? If you already know you're working on a project, you're working on mastering a new piece of your, your business, drop it down here for me. Tell me what it is you're working on that you know right now I am not masterful about, I'm not masterful in this area, but I know that if I focus on this, if I give myself a solid year of doing this, is I'm gonna be smooth as silk, and I'm gonna up level to the next mountain. What are you working on? I wanna hear what you guys are working on. Ah, uh, you needed the music today. Oh, okay, okay, where's the music when you need it? You just said something. <laughs> ah, that's good, Tanya, that's good, that's good. I'm telling you that that last night it messed with my mind y'all i couldn't sleep because i was just remembering how i looked and more than that, i was remembering how i felt just out of sorts okay jay is working on facebook lives great jay i know you're doing lives every wednesday i want to challenge you to do them more than once a week 52 so one a week is great 
That's a great place to start. I want to challenge you to press it a little bit more because the more you do, if Facebook Live is what you want to do, if that's what you want to master, you need to do a lot of them. So uh, they always say, I'm going to use, I'm going to use Christine's word of feedback. So get feed, get a lot of feedback and get it fast, right? Get a lot of feedback and get it quick. Do more Facebook lives. Even if you're just on for two minutes, the point is for you to get on there, Jay, and get used to it. Get on for two minutes every day and just say, Hey guys, I'm going live. It's so that you work out your emotions around this piece that you want to master. So go live every day, even if it's just, hey guys, just want to say hi, had a beautiful day, hope you did too, da 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 Victoria, you're building your nail business. Excellent, excellent. Um, Victoria, if you would like, I will give you for free a 15-minute uh, consultation on your, on your page to look at your attraction, okay? So if you want that, just uh, put down, Victoria, I'm ready, and I'll contact you, okay? It's absolutely free, 15 minutes, okay? Um, okay, great. Awesome, Jay. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Amos, he says, worth. Okay. Well, I want to need how you want to market it. What is, what is it that you want to work on in your marketing over this next six, six months to a year? <laughs> Guys, don't do it any less than that. It won't really, it's, it's, you're not going to get enough. Okay, all right, Victoria, I got you. It's not going to give you enough practice. Guys, I went live every day for two years. That's the only reason that I can be on here like this, Jay. I went live every day for two years. And I went live sporadically. It's been, mm, well, I did YouTube before live came about. But that's, that's how I did it. Um, Jay, every single day, even if it was just for two minutes here and there. Uh, Reese says webinars. All right. All right, Reese, that's cool. So we're going to talk about that specifically. Reese is one of my students. So we're going to get into that in class, Reese, to see what you're doing. Christine is doing a video, Facebook lives, YouTube, blogging, email. Wow. That's a lot, Christine. That's a lot. That's great. That is great. So you guys just I want to say pick one thing that you're going to focus on specifically. Even, I mean, I do more than Facebook lives and I do more than just videos like Christine. I do a, a lot of different things, but I'm, I'm fine tuning, mastering webinars over the next 12 months specifically to kind of layer onto my live streams. Okay. Also, you're going to see eBooks coming out. So like every week, Probably by this time next year, I will have 52 ebooks, 52 Kindles on my Amazon page. Or that I'll just give away to you guys so that I get more practice in, you know, creating ebooks, which are my lead magnets. If you guys don't know what lead magnets is, let me know and I'll do a, a live stream on those, tell you why they're so important. All right, guys. Excellent. So I want to thank you guys for being here. If you are a replay viewer, hopefully you got some, some value from this. Guys, if you have a business, do me a favor right now. Drop your links in here. Drop your links. Um, it's so funny because when you get to the end, it, all these people start leaving. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Ah! And the best things could be said like after everybody else leaves. You know, the best party is the after party. People don't know that. They be taken off. It cracks me up. Anyway, guys, drop your links in so that people can connect with you. Again, I'm Sensei Sabir, coming to you from Baltimore, and I'm doing this Monday through Friday, talking with you on how to become an attraction marketer, where you can organically, by just telling your story, by being authentically who you are in the marketplace, you can stand still, as my mentor says, and be a lighthouse and just shine out whatever value it is that you bring to the marketplace. You stand still in one place and you let the people who want to work with you, you let them come to you. But there is a there are things that you need to actually learn how to do to make that happen, right? Within yourself energetically and on this little box called a computer. 
So thanks for coming out today, guys. That's what I have for you. If I said anything of value, do me a favor and share this out. Share this out. Thank you so much for being here. And I will be back tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. All right, y'all have a beautiful day and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.